were in Spain, in the north of Spain, some years ago, a decade or more. And uh, it was amazing how we worked the bi-dimensional and two-dimensional idea of the space. Yeah. And, uh, and the simple um, installations that we made was with painting, for example. Right. Um, the, and then there, there is lots of the, the, the the, the main installation that they make with the space when it cuts and intervenes and so yeah. on are amazing. Yeah. But that is the simple one which when we when we put a light circle uh, in the a three dimensional space or when it gives the idea that the space is submerged on water but it's only a white or a blue color right. um, making that limit. And um, so when I so I was seeing your work the last because I think it's interesting how you make this connection with architecture and how you say that is related with the, um, the elements of architecture or um, the limits, the entrance, the windows, the, the passage and so on. Uh, but you do this in a conventional way of making perspectives like the Renaissance architects make the perspectives to make bigger mm -hmm. spaces of the sculpture and so on or you have your own software to your own way to do it how you mm -hmm. conceive then make because you, you use different materials mm -hmm. yeah that's interesting mm -hmm. uh, but how is the process so the process it, it's actually quite easy and, and i had um you know it's funny i had my students uh basically go back to the caves at Chabot. That's why I showed the first the first slide. I mean, a lot of that, you know, as a side note, you, you, you I've never been, but the photographs that you see. Uh, in a way, that was kind of the first anamorphic projection, because the caves are obviously undulating, and there's the, the animals or any of the images that they put on the walls were put up from a very kind of particular point of view. So I joke with the students, we went all the way back to Chabot. So 30,000 years of history relating to the image and perspective and viewing can come down to very simple tools in the computer. You know, you had mentioned before about, um, you know, it's one thing to do the chalk painting, but not to understand mentally how that was constructed. Uh, you know, it's, it's absolutely important. So as the students started to research this, they started to go through that. Um, but it's primarily the process is based in uh, Rhino, so it's a 3D software that you know you can very strategically begin to set up a camera, and it really is very simple. It's not it's not anything other than setting up a camera in a very kind of particular point of view and designing the architecture in the space based on that point of view. So every move within the space that you make is set up based on the camera. Like George Wilson. Exactly. Check the image and then correct. The correct. Correct. The only difference would be um, you're not, um, you know, you're, you're, it is because it is in computer software, you have to trust that the reality is going to be somewhere close to that because you have to get the science of the focal point of the eye and the, the dimension between the lens and the receptors. And I would say we are 90% confident that that would work. Um, given where we are with the software. Um, but it always is a lie, right? And it always is a risk <laughs> to actually try to set it up on the computer and then do a series of tests. Because it's not just the, the, the anamorphic part of it is only, one, is only one part of a much longer process for us. Because the materiality is huge. You know, do you deal with color? Do you deal with reflectivity? You deal with mirrors, you know. Not to, I don't want to set up a circus or a, or a, uh, a kind of um, you know joke of a of a space. I want this to be a real kind of architectural experience. So the materiality is a, is a huge part of that, you know. Um, the last thing I'll say to that too, in terms of the process, is it is important for for me that the users of the space uh, understand the idea that there is one point that they can see, but it's not the primary goal, right? If someone moves through a space and never knows that that's the reality, or never knows that that's how it was, that's 
perfectly fine with me. Just like in the reflective tape installation, I never called out where those points of view were. And if people never found those points of view on their camera, so be it. They knew that there was reflective tape in the space, but they weren't quite sure that there were moments of alignment within that process. And that's, that's part of discovery. That's part of trying to kind of engage the, the space. And it was like if you go see a film, the difference between a film and like a Hollywood film. You know, in a Hollywood film, everything's given to you. You don't need to do any thinking. You know? I don't want to give that to them. I want people to kind of try to figure that stuff out. I don't know if that answers your question. Yes. Okay. Any questions? <coughs> This perspective, cosmic mentality, do you remember? Yeah. Uh, has changed uh, the way conceiving architectural project for your project. As, as the way I think, cosmic mentality is it's a, a way to think project. Yeah. Well, the, this perspective uh, was, was has changed anything the way you uh, conceive it. This is cosmic metal is not my code, of course, it's from the Nerd and, uh, and uh, but there's there is there's is, there is a truth in everything we do. It's it's not only geometry that constructs, it's not, not only software that constructs. Uh, and it's much more than simply put that kind of kind of technologies, whatever they are. Uh, but before, before that, before everything, we have a core that constructs everything, that puts everything together. It's like to have different interfaces and make it together. So, and number four is, is, is like to, okay, and, and, and uh, we have a new experience, experience as cosa mentale, using, for example, this kind of uh, perceptions of space. For example, we have we see that here we are in the square space uh, with two windows, one door, tables, and so on. But and we can see this as a start, as a very very I would say we can see this when we we we, we go in from from outside we just understand this very clear and. But at the same time, it's not cosmic mentality as, as you want to say. It's something that uh, we have, we know at the time. So, cosmic mentality is, is, is something very deep. It's, it's, it's like I try to say, it's an it's a, it's a optical thought. It's something that you need to touch, need to go deeper inside, inside your, your, your ways of doing architecture or even drawings or even you, even your your strategies of constructing and making space, for example linear spaces is this uh, role. And put something that connects with the not not an illusion, because it's not an illusion, it makes a new perception. Makes our our way of seeing space with a new perception. So cosmo mental is something more deep more more difficult to explain. Okay, it's nice to use this this word because it's from Leonardo and uh, it works always very well. And, uh, and, and I bring all the time for all the communications, even if it's in the beginning or in the end. So uh, it's uh, at the if I I want to be serious, I I said that everything we do. Came from a very real, clear space. Uh, space, I say space because uh, not physical space. It's a real, a real space, a deep space, and that that connects all the world. Okay. okay. I have uh, the last question for Sergio. This question is a bit provocative. <laughs> Do you think that in this uh, process, process of 
the architectural quality as not uh, compromised? If it, it has been compromised by the blend? Yes. Well, it's provocative. <laughs> uh, I really don't think so. I think it's the opposite. I think the most part of the articles have had the possibility of doing the projects they wanted despite the plan. So the, the, the difference is that uh, for what I studied in the on all those management process is that uh, the, the plan was strictly defended in, in the cases where the architects wanted to do something that was contrarily um, was um, particularly opposite to the general ideas, but in the small things and in the, in the, in the process of developing the projects, there was no intervention. They were really quite free about what they wanted to do, and they had the opportunity to do it. Even in the case, the case of uh, Alvaro Cisa is, is the most clear, because it changed everything. The, in the first plan, the, 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 the library, was meant to be it was meant to be a seven stars high building with a small tower and he changed it dislocated it and changed the form of the building without uh, nothing more than to present the idea and to, that was accepted by the parties of the plan so in fact they had uh, the opportunity to do what they want there's a there's a singular case, which is the project of Eduardo Zucura. It's the, the, the only one that doesn't have brick on facades. And that was a, a, that was a fight between the, the support and the management of the human process, uh, which support won. So the building has been constructed as he wanted to. So in fact, though, I think the, the, one of the of the things that is particularly important in this management process in Aveiro is the fact that, uh, that, that it was possible to conduct the plan all over the du duration of the plan, which is until now, maintaining, and maintaining the idea of the plan and without having to change the plan. And despite of that, the architects were able to do what they want uh, in most part of the situations without any problem. So the, the unitary image was completed? In your opinion? Yes, it, it's, it's practically uh, it's almost uh, completed. Uh, there are some buildings yet to, to build. Uh, as, if, as I remember, there's one space that still stays without uh, construction because now there are so many funds of the as it was before, right? so the construction is uh, slowed down, but uh, it's practically completed. The, 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 and that's why they have the other plan on the other side of the river, where they're building other buildings. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. On the way you commentary, uh, this session, I think this session uh, is uh, what we would like in the, the symposium to be over uh, trend since uh, the first, uh, I would say, uh, debate, uh, positive debate between uh, several points of views regarding the formalization in uh, architecture. Uh, I, uh, after your uh, two years ago uh, presentation, I will not do but to invite you again. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I will try to be not, not so nervous. Uh, I, I take some some pills before. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but it's, uh, and, and now I can say that uh, always the English, some, some words come on. Yes, they, they, I, I evolved my mouth, so it's so strange. And and I can say and now I can say that uh, when uh, uh, I can, we are not off record, of course. And uh, I, I just asked to Franklin. So uh, how I am going to do this in English? And I don't want to read. And he just said to me, okay, try to make your best, but. 
okay, reading is not so good, uh, but if I'm not going to read, I'm going to say rubbish. And <laughs> so uh, now I can apologize because I, I don't like to read when I, I do some communication because they, they are boring. I remember all the time when I was, was a student, when they began to read, I began to draw my, my books. So uh, at the end, uh, so I hope you, you did it, do the same, but, but uh, they, are, they are, everyone is, okay, I, I, I apologize now, I might, might apologize to, to make some readings. I try to do my best. Thank you for the next invitation. Uh, <laughs> Uh, with some exercise, I will do it better and try to, to do it. Thank you very much, Franklin. Sergio, thank you for bringing uh, here a concrete example. When we are in the real world, we have to absolutely be free to join with several methods. When we are going to do a real project, we have to go to formal methods, but we have to send a formal method and we have to Intuition. Uh, we don't know some why something happens, but it happens right. And then we reflect on the, what happened, what was good and what was bad, and uh, we uh, we formalize that. But only after. <laughs> it's a very good uh, example of uh, what really happens. And why can you say that? Uh, well, formalization is not only uh, a way to solve problems, but uh, it can uh, bring, I think, it can bring us other problems we can think about. I think art, uh, if not always, in most of the times, is a, a reflection of the, on the language, on formalization. Uh, and uh, formalization not uh, to art brings us another means of expression and the possibility to, to uh, achieve uh, uh, and conquer new words. Uh, and, uh, well, formalization is one of the, 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 the means we have to, to arrive at. Uh, it's not, uh, many people say there are some incompatibility in, between the uh, formal and the art, I think not. And, uh, well, art is a stiff, I think so. It's not always a reflection. Uh, uh, some thinking about uh, the, the, the language. Uh, she, uh, she, the art, uh, uh, I don't know, it's funny. <laughs> uh, I lost myself. That reflection, that uh, thinking about uh, what is always present uh, in the uh, 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 uh,